Verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, you have a shine. So, when you're doing things that are pleasing unto you have a shine, guess what happens? Okay? He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So, I notice. You know, even though we're not going to be loved by the world, but I know it's when a lot of people pass by, a lot of people wave their hands, a lot of people give the nod. So, you even get times in this truth where your enemies are, for a little bit of time, they're at peace with you. Why? Because you're pleasing, you have a shine. Okay? You're pleasing, you have a shine. You know? So, for a, a, a point of time, Yahushua can even, what does he can do? He could actually make your enemy show particular favour unto you. Okay, he can do that. And that's what I noticed as well. That's what you actually, that's that hedge. That is that hedge. And that same hedge, the men are going to have when this time of Jacob trouble happens. Okay, they're going to have that same hedge. Bear me just a minute. They're going to have that same hedge. Okay. Why? Because you're doing the things that please Yahweh Shai. And I notice in this truth, the men that have a, a messed up spirit are the ones that have been pissing about, taking this truth for a joke. They're the ones that have a, a messed up spirit. Okay, and the ones that are doing this. Let me just a minute. You know, we give it, we give it all we got. Because what? Yahweh Shai, you want to please him. Okay? That's why we seek to please Yahweh Shai. You know? Because another man can't save you. And another man might be wicked as hell. Deceitful, man. And you're not going to manipulate the elect. I just want to let you know that. By no means necessary, you're not going to manipulate the elect. No matter what you try, you're not going to manipulate the elect. Okay, you're only fooling yourself. Okay, the elect are going to see beyond the lies, the bullshit, the respect of persons. And if a man's a deceiver and you know he's a deceiver and you don't believe in the scriptures, why is he in the camp? Why is he in the camp? Okay. Again, that's all right, okay? Because all deceivers are going to be dealt with, okay? All those pushing this truth in a deceitful manner, they're going to be dealt with accordingly, okay? Duff saved the Holy Bible, okay? I believe that as well. I strongly, strongly believe that. Those that are pushing this truth deceitfully, Yahweh Shah's going to eventually jack them up. Okay, judge them. Okay. All right, that's spiritual. You've got two military helicopters over my head as well. You know? So this thing's going down. Okay. That's why Yahweh Shah talks about those with a pure heart. How is our hearts pure? It's pure. Through Yahweh Shai. That's, who our, that's how our hearts are pure. Through Yahweh Shai. Okay? You can't say you have a pure heart, but you're doing this work of the Lord deceitfully. That's not a pure heart. Okay? Uh, this is verse 8. Better, so I'm letting us know, better is little with righteousness and Jesus is negro, no blanco, el diablo, you know? <laughs> you know, as soon as I say that, you cross the road, you know? See, people, they don't want to deal with the spirit of truth, a lot of people, okay? Better is little, little with righteousness, so better is it to have little 
with righteousness. Also, that goes into substance. Okay? A little with righteousness. So the little that you have, but you're a righteous man. Okay? Learn great revenues without right. Okay? So it's better to have little than you're, you, you're, you're in the midst of congregation. Okay? With revenues without right. Okay? Skirmishes, arguments, you know? And that's why it's always good, the better. The smaller the circle, the better. Okay? That's what it's about. Okay? And you'll notice there's a lot of northern tribes around here, a lot of Colombians, a lot of Ecuadorians, there's a lot of northern tribes around here. Okay, the northern tribes are also Israelites. You so-called so Hispanics, Indianos, Yes, you, you descend from the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Verse 9. A man's heart, the vice of his way. So a man's mind is not the vice of his way. But, okay. But the Lord directed his steps. So you may have something, a plan in your own mind. But again, it's Yahweh Shai that devises your steps, your calculations, okay? What you're gonna do during the day, okay? It's not of your own will, okay? It's not of your own will whatsoever, okay? So this is all about the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Okay, that's what it's about, the will of Yahweh Shai, right? We'll see if we can find anything else. Because that's who we're waiting on. We're waiting on Yahweh Shai, okay? That's who we depend upon. Yahweh Shai, okay? That's who we put our faith in, Yahweh Shai. And we believe through faith that Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us from whatever situation, okay? Even when the RFID chip is implemented, okay? The elect are going to have the spirit, what? To endure, to not take it. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is going to be what? With these men, okay? Yabashah is going to be with these men, okay, to conquer, okay, this world, okay. He's going to be with his elect, okay, to conquer this world, okay, to overcome it. And it said the elect have already overcame, okay. So the elect, they've already overcame, it's already been written, okay, who is going to endure. Okay, who was going to make it and who was not going to make it? All these things were already written. Okay. So we have to keep teaching, we have to keep pushing this word. Okay. Then just a minute. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Because a lot more evil is going to happen. And who controls that evil? You have a shy. You ain't seen nothing yet. More evil is going to happen. Okay. Many more evils are going to happen. Okay. You really ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah, see if I can find it. Because that's what you've got to realise. When you, when you ask a Christian, ah, evil. When you ask a Christian about evil, ah, oh, no, the Lord, he can't... Bro, hold on a minute. The Lord, Gavisha is all controlling. All controlling. But you believe, now nah, the devil done it. But who controls the devil? Who controls Satan? 
Heavenly Father. Christians, they don't know the Bible. They're completely lost. They don't have any type of understanding of the Bible. You know, okay? Only the true men in the world understand the scriptures. All right? They're the only ones who understand the scriptures and the parables of the scriptures. Okay? So bear me just a minute. That's why it was only given unto the elect to know the mysteries, not everybody. Okay? So let's go to... Because our people still got that mindset. Why would the Lord do that? Why would he kill? Because he can do what he wants. Oh, he can do what he wants. And that's that emotion. That's that emotion. And that's that pride. You know? Men think they have the audacity to control the narrative or to um, tell the Heavenly Father what he can do with his creation who, who the fuck are you? you're, you're nobody but you think here, here it is you come you come out of nowhere Christianity Mr. Christianity oh why would the Lord does that? he can't do that rubbing your chin scratching your head it's because you don't know you have a shine that's why you know and it's being seen who really knows you have a shine and who don't because if you understand Yahweh Shai, then you understand that he controls all things. Okay? Even men, even everything you see around you, he controls that. Let me see if I can find it after Shai. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. Okay? This is Isaiah 45. Okay? And 7. I form the light. So, again, now we shall form the light. And you could you could take that in a two two sources. A physical source and a spiritual source. Night and day. Day and night. And these things also. Light but also represents what? Wisdom. So he gives wisdom. Okay? I form the light. So he also forms wisdom. Now we is the creator of wisdom. Okay? I form the light. And create darkness. So darkness also represents what? Wickedness. Okay, so the Lord is, he even controls that. He even controls wickedness. So when you see evil going on across the world, the Heavenly Father even controls that. Okay? I, the Lord Jehovah Shai, do all these things. So again, it's letting us know. He does all these things. The light, the darkness, the evils, everything you see happening. You see people walking about. It's Yahushua controlling their steps. You see cars. You see people speaking. It's him that's controlling them. Man, woman, they don't have cons they don't nobody has no say. There's no such thing as free will. There's no such thing as free will in this life. Okay? Yahushua is in control of everything and everyone. And even that, even that gives you a higher level of understanding. Knowing that, all right, this is going to happen and that may happen, persecution. Because a lot of men talk about when they come to grab you up. You do know that's not going to happen to all the men, to all the elect. You do know every brother in this truth is not going to be grabbed up. You know? You know that, right? So it's only pertaining to those that's going to happen to you. But guess what? The elect, they're going to be in what? Yabashai's hand. Okay, saying John 10 and 10, none of them shall pluck them out of my hand. Jesus is negro, no blanco. You know? None of them shall pluck them out of my hand. So the elect are in Yahweh's hand. Okay? Continually. Okay? They are in Yahweh's hand. Okay? Constantly. So again, that should bring you great confidence, knowing that, that nobody's going to pluck the elect out of Yahweh Shai's hand, no matter what. No matter what demon, no matter what the spiritual demon Satan does. And because the spiritual demon Satan uses what? Scoffers, and I don't know, maybe that'd be another lesson. The spiritual demon Satan uses scoffers to try and what? To try and knock your faith, but it's not going to happen with the elect. So. Yahweh can also use a man that's of the non-elect to try and come at you. 
So you've got to be spiritual about this truth. You know, you've got to look at it at all sides. So when particular men are coming at you, even men that are claiming to be in the truth, but really not in the truth, you've got to look at it as, hold on a minute, Yahweh Shah has used this individual, okay, used his vessel, used Satan to work on this guy to come at you. That's being spiritual. Because when you think about Satan, you may just be thinking about Esau. No. The scriptures talk about the spiritual demon saying, let's quickly go to Peter's, bear me just a minute. Peter's, bear me just, see if I can find it. Somewhere in Peter's. That's why the whole armor is necessary. Very necessary. Bear me just a minute. See if I can find it. Because when you think about demons and the spiritual demon Satan, it's not just jumping on your family. It's not just jumping on the people out in the world. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Let's go to Peter's. See how the spirit works. It just it gives us, it gives us some um, different topics, different things to speak about. Just trust in the spirit. Okay? Bear me just a minute. Let's see if I can find it. Let's go to quickly go to Peter's Baba Kishar, see if I can find it. Somewhere in Peter's. Alright. The scriptures talk about scriptures talk about your enemy that goeth around as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. So the spiritual demon, the Satan is going about, seeking who he's gonna devour. You know? Bear me just a minute. See if I can find it. It's a hearse. See, you got people dying. That's nothing. You're gonna see more of that. Okay, you're gonna see more of that. Okay. Okay, bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Let's start at 1 Peter 5 and 7. Passing all your care upon him, for he careth for you. So again, what are we supposed to be doing? Passing our care upon Yahweh Shai. Why? Because he cares for you. Okay. The Lord cares for his elect. He has great care for them. So if someone cares for someone, guess what? They're going to be looked after. Okay? Be sober. Okay? So the Lord Jehovah Shai requires that we're soberly minded. It doesn't mean you can't drink. I don't know, I might have a little drink later on, Lord willing. You know, I may have a little drink later on. Depends. Depends on how, I may, uh, how I'm feeling. Okay? But be sober. Okay? Be vigilant. So the Lord requires us to be vigilant. Look around. Okay. Circumspect. Vigilant. Okay. Observant. Okay. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil. So our adversary, which is the devil. And what does devil mean? Deceiver. Okay. As a roving lion, walketh about. Okay, seeking whom he may devour, and this is speaking about the spiritual demon Satan. You have the physical manifestation, and you have the spiritual manifestation as well. So when it says the devil as a roving lion, what does a roving lion do? 
they go for the weak prey. So if you have any chinks in our armor, that's what Satan's going to be going after. So Satan, he doesn't really go for those that are strong. He looks for the weak prey. Okay, that's why even when you have a body, that body, that chain needs to be strong because Satan looks for an opening. Satan looks for those that are what? That are weak in the faith. So if you don't really believe in this truth, then Satan just could use your vessel to do mischief. Okay, as a roaring lion. So when you see a lion hunting, what is it doing? It's coming for the easiest prey. So this lets you know that the spiritual demon Satan will hop on an individual's vessel, okay, to come at you or to use you to get you out of there to show you're not right. Okay. You're not gonna have a man in a trick bag. Okay. And that's why what we fear Yahweh our share. For the terror of the Lord we persuade men. For the terror. You know? You should be scared. You ain't doing this work, you should be scared. Okay? You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, you should be scared. Okay? So the spiritual demon seeking whom he may devour. And if you don't believe in this truth, okay, then you're already, you're already prey, you're already prey, you're already, you know. Satan's looking for those that are hard to get. If you don't believe in the scriptures, then where do you really stand? Satan's already, Satan's already got you. You see, what you understand what I'm saying? So he's looking for those that are what? Believe, okay. Verse nine, whom resist steadfast in the faith. So the scriptures say, resist the devil and he shall flee. So you've got to resist what, the devil. Now, okay. And who resists steadfast in the faith? Okay, so what's supposed to be resisted? All these spiritual attacks, these spiritual attacks that come our way, we're supposed to be resisting these things. Okay, every single day. Okay, he's supposed to be resisting it. Okay? And we're supposed to be stronger every single day. This is the devil. Steadfast. Okay? So if you're steadfast, you're sure in what you believe. Okay? Steadfast in faith, knowing that the same afflictions got military helicopters as well. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren because it ain't just you going through something every brother's going through something different in this faith and I'm speaking about the hopeful elect I'm not speaking about uh, just a, a, a nigger that's just in the world okay or a nigger that's in Christianity I'm speaking about an individual that's in the truth okay so knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren okay so it's not it's not just you going through this thing other brothers throughout the world are going through something similar to what you're going through if it's not the same thing it's similar to what you're going through okay in your brethren that and the same affliction are coming in your brethren throughout all the world okay so it lets you know it's not just you, okay? You're not by yourself, okay? But the power of all grace, who is who? Yahweh Shai, he's the power of all grace. There is him. But the power of all grace, who is Yahweh Shai, okay? And who does our grace come from? From him. Okay, so the power of all grace. Bear with me, who have called unto us, unto His eternal glory by Yahweh Shammai. After that, ye have suffered a while, make ye perfect. A while, our sufferings. Look, ye have parents when we suffer, we go through afflictions, we go through tribulations, and what we get stronger. It's only for a while, only a season, okay? Only a season, okay? A while make you perfect, establish, okay? So the elect, they get established by this, okay? 
which is set on strength and set on you. So when we get established, we get settled in this world. So the afflictions, the trials and tribulations we go through in life is just to strengthen us. You know, they say in the world, what don't, what don't kill you makes you stronger. So it's not about the fall, it's about you continuing. You have to continue because if you don't continue, then what good is it? Okay, you've done all this work, but if you just stop teaching, then that means everything you've done will be in vain. So Yahushua requires us to what? To keep on teaching this word. Okay? This is a what? A test of endurance. Okay? This is a test of endurance. Okay? And the elect, guess what? They're going to endure. Okay? And they're going to be given the faith to endure. Okay, why? Because Yahweh is dealing with them. Okay? Yahweh is actually dealing with these men to give them the faith to endure. Okay? A little bit more time. Because if Yahweh does not give you that faith to endure, then what? You can't be. Then how can you endure? You know? Because yeah, we go into prophecy, okay, it's all the concept, we touch on prophecy, but the main thing also is touching on character. See, when I do my videos, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not trying to give you one, just one narrative. I'm not just trying to do that. When I'm doing videos, I'm also doing videos on what? Building character, true character, okay? The things I've been through, you know, I want to share it. You know, so I want to share particular things that can help you in this truth. Okay? Because men, they have a whole bunch of knowledge. They've been in the truth a long time, but they cannot give you things to help you. So when I'm in this truth, yeah, we touch on prophecy, but we also want to give you things to help you and to build you up in the faith. Okay? Let's go to James. Okay, so this is James 1 and 2. My brethren, count it all joy. Okay, count it joy. All joy when you fall into diverse temptations. So, the scripture is saying, be joyful. So, you're going through different temptations, different things in the truth. Hold on a minute. That's that, that's a chance for you to what to gain more experience. Because not everybody that claims to be in the truth are, are going through particular things. Some are going through more than others. So that, that's a that's a situation where you can now you gain experience. Now you can teach others. Okay? You're able to teach others. And it means a lot. Why? Because you've been through it. Okay? You've been through them trials. You've been through them tribulations. Okay? Now you can, it means more. So when someone's reading the scriptures and you've been through that particular scenario and that individual hasn't been through that scenario, you can tell. You know, you can tell. You know? And that's why it's good to what? To be these trials, these temptations. That's why it's good. For you to be tempted is not a bad thing. Even if you fell, it's about, are you continuing? That's what it's about. Okay. Other men were big, big to differ. Okay, but that's, from what I've experienced in this truth, you know, it's good that when you're going through things, in the truth, not what you were going through in the world. Okay, in the truth. Okay. Knowing this, that the triumph of your faith, so it says, Knowing this, that the triumph of your faith. So, you, you can't just say you have faith, but guess what? Your faith is not being tried. Okay, so, just know this. If you say you have faith, guess what? Your faith is going to be tried on different levels. 
that you're trying of your faith, okay, work with patience. So now you have faith, your faith is going to be tried. Your patience is going to be tried. And if every time your faith is going to be tried, your patience is going to be tried, what's that going to do? That's going to build more experience within you. Okay, now guess what? You're able to teach others. You're able to be more effective in the ministry. Okay? You're able to be so much more effective in this ministry. Why? Because now you've been through that scenario. Okay? So now you've been through that scenario, you're able to give sound advice. Because that's what experience does. So when you have experience, now you're what? You become a better teacher, you become a better prophet. Why? Because now you're able to teach others. There's, some, there's one thing of just reading, book knowledge, yeah, that sounds nice, that sounds good. Put the book down. And it's another thing to read these scriptures and actually go through it. That's a whole other thing, to actually live this word. You actually got to live this word. So what's in these scriptures? You've got to be, this, be the book. The scriptures say eat the whole roll, not some of it. Okay. James 1, and let's go to 4. But let patience have our perfect work. Okay. So patience, you gotta let you gotta let patience take its time on you. You can't be you can't be rushing. Nah, it's too much. No. Nah, that shows you're not able to suffer. Okay, and a trait of a man, a man's able to suffer and still keep pushing on. So how are you when you're suffering? How are you in at trials and tribulations? Do you still push the word? Okay? When you're going through stuff, are you still able to push the word? Okay? That's what your is looking at. Okay? That's what man. Okay? That the time of your faith work with patience. Let patience have a perfect work. So, you've got to give patience a chance. Okay? You've got to give patience a perfect chance. And the only reason you do, the only how you can do that is through what? Faith. Okay? Not running out the back door. Okay? That you may be entire. Okay? Entire. Perfect and entire and wanting nothing. So, when you're entire, in other words, you're not in need of anything of this world, okay? You're completed. So guess what? The men of the Lord, they're going to be complete, okay? They're going to be complete in what? In mind and sound. They're going to be of a sound mind when it comes to the truth, okay? So that's what it means to be entire, wanting nothing. Which goes back to Psalms, the Lord is my shepherd. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. I shall not want. So the men of the Lord, they're satisfied. What are they satisfied? This word. Why? Because they, they, they've committed themselves unto this word. So they're not seeking anything outside. They're not seeking anything outside of this word. Okay? But the things of this world, it doesn't really matter. You know when you first heard about this truth, you had them worldly attachments. The worldly attachments, it doesn't really matter the things of this world anymore. You know, the things that bothered you in the world, it doesn't bother you as much because you don't, you don't have that attachment to the world. Okay? You know? But if you're still heavily, 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 heavily attached to this world, then obviously certain things are still, you know, going to bother you. You know? It's your, it's your experience that also gets you closer to Yahweh Shai. Again, that's why, that's why I can stand out here and be confident in Yahweh Shai. Why? Because every scenario I was in, the bad scenarios, all these type of scenarios, 
when all the odds were against me, guess who was there to uphold me? You have a shot. That's what gives me. That's what gives me my faith. That's what keeps me going. Okay. When nobody else is there by your side, okay. When I never had men around me, okay. Who was there? You have a shot. So I have experience. Experience of also what being by myself and working out my own salvation. A lot of men they don't know what it's like to go a week, two weeks without doing a lesson with another man of the Lord, okay? A supposedly man of the Lord. So when they're by themselves, they start panicking. So again, that's a very dangerous spirit to be in. The scriptures talk about bearing another's burden, which we do. But you also got to bear your own burden. And if the burden's too heavy, guess what? Your Habashai will help you with that burden. Okay? He will help you with that. Okay? But first of all, you've got to bear your own. Nobody can hold your hand in this truth. Okay? Nobody. It's between you and your Habashai. Okay? Between you and your Habashai. Okay? There's only a few men that are really serious about this truth. Okay? And that are hastening. Okay? So that's the spirit that's supposed to be in. The spirit of haste. Hastening. The day of the, of the Lord, Yahweh Habashai, and he's coming. Okay? That's what spirit was supposed to be in. Nothing less, nothing more. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Men don't make excuses. Men don't make excuses. Okay? At all. You know? They handle their business. And what did Yahabashai say? Don't you know about my father's business? So how more so us, the ministers of Yahabashai, we're supposed to be of his business. We're supposed to be of Yahabashai, his work. Okay? In season, out of season. Because the time is coming, all hell is going to break loose. Esau's coming down with great wrath, as it says in Revelation 12 and 12. For the devil cometh down with great wrath, because he knoweth that he have a short time. Who's that? The banking elites. Okay, we know they're sending. They're sending agents to camps, you know. You've got people that are working with government agents that are coming to camps. Okay. You know, we're doing all types of things. Okay. Shutting down channels. Okay. All these different things Esau's doing. Trying to throw brothers off. Sending demons to try and mess with brothers. All these things are happening. Okay. Believe it or not. But guess what? Yahabai Shem Yahabashai will prevail. Okay. Yahabai Shem Yahabashai will prevail a bad bad to you demons, man. Okay? You're not going to stop this word. Okay? No matter what you do, no matter what light you try to put us in, or what narrative you're trying to, you, you try to brush us in, it's not going to work. Okay? At all. The word of the Lord Yahweh Yahabashai will prevail. Okay? Forever. Okay? And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Okay? Bear me just a minute. There's nothing you can do to stop this word. Okay? The word of the is going to prevail. Okay? Send your minions. Your minions, they're not going to stop this word. Okay? Yahabashai, guess what? He's already won. And guess what, Satan? You've 
already lost 2,000 years ago. The Amish already defeated you. Okay, what more can you do? You're done. Okay, you're through. You're finished. Okay. <laughs> you're done. Satan's just doing his last job. And when it says the devil fairs and tremble, the devil is fair and trembling. The devil has no power over here. Get a few more scriptures. Let's go to Proverbs. Bear me just, let's go to Proverbs. Bear me just a minute. You know? The words of the Lord, they stand firm. No, okay? The words of the Lord, you have to stand firm. And there's nothing you can put to it. You know? So let's go to Proverbs 11. Okay? This is Proverbs 11 and 18. The wicked worketh a deceitful work. So if you're wicked, you're going to be working deceitful works. Doing things that are deceitful. Okay? You know? Mischievous. You're going to be a mischievous man. Okay? The wicked worketh a deceitful work. Okay? Which is mischievousness. Any time a form of what? Shenanigans. Manipulation. That's a what? Work of witchcraft. Okay, if you have to be manipulated, you have to lie, that means you're a witch. Okay? And the brother was saying that at camp as well. Okay? The wicked worker for deceitful work. Okay, deceitful practice. Okay? But to him that soweth righteousness, and that's what we're sowing, we're sowing righteousness, which is what the scriptures. We're not leaning on our own understanding. We're letting the scriptures speak. So he that soweth righteousness shall, shall be a short reward. Okay? So that's where that reward comes, by sowing what? Righteousness. Again, how do you sow righteousness? By doing the work. It's not hard to understand. But again, some could be doing the work and still what? Sowing wickedness. That's why it says in Matthew. 7 and 24. Not everybody that says Lord, Lord shall enter into, into the kingdom of heaven. So when an individual goes into that scripture, why does it say that? Why does it say not everybody that says Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven? Because you were going to have those in the last days that were teaching the word deceitfully. Okay? That were linking up with other camps deceitfully. Okay? So not everybody that says Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Those that are sincere that are saying, Lord, Lord, Yahweh Shai are going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not those, not those that are deceitful, okay? You know what I mean? That's why if you're doing according to what Yahweh Shai is saying, according to the scriptures, you have nothing to worry about. But if you've been deceitful and you've never really believed, Obviously you're going to be scared, obviously you're going to be pushing the spirit of fear, doubt, uncertainty. Okay, because that's what, that, that, that shows what spirit you're in. That's a manifestation of your spirit. But someone that's out here showing faith, the good works, that's a manifestation also of his spirit. Okay? You know what I mean? Okay? Verse 19, as righteousness tendeth to life. So, obviously, if you're seeking righteousness, what's that going to bring forth? Life? Okay. So, he that pursueth evil, pursue it to his own death. So, if you're pursuing evil, and what's the evil this world? Really, what are you pursuing? Death. If you're trying to make it in this world, you're pursuing death. If you're trying to uphold this world, you're pursuing death. If you're in the word, you're pursuing life. Okay. So the elect, what are the elect going to be doing? Pursuing life. And how do you pursue life? By doing what Yahweh Shai says. So if Yahweh Shai says, feed my sheep, you feed his sheep. Okay. If Yahweh Shai says, don't be lukewarm, you don't be lukewarm. Okay. 
by the same men that were chatting shit and that were coming up against other men about being lukewarm, what have they got to say now? And now they're in a lukewarm spirit. That's why you've got to fear your Hawa Shai with fear and trembling. Work at your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Let's go to my car. Because the elites, they have a plan. The elites, they have an agenda. So the elites, their agenda, what's their agenda? To chip the majority of the people, that's, a, that's their agenda. To have the masses chipped. Okay. Which, a lot, of, a lot of individuals that claim to be prophets, they don't even touch on that. Why don't guys even go into these heavy scripts about the chip? You know, these are important prophecies. Okay, of the end times, the mark of the beast, the Arfad Egypt. Okay, which is what radio frequency identification. So these are the things we're also supposed to be teaching. Okay, our people ain't teaching that. Okay. Individuals that have been set up to teach you to fear Esau. No, that's off. Okay. That's completely off. Okay. And you are who your father is. You know? Your nationality is determined by your father. Okay? Not your mother, your father. Okay? Your lineage. Is it now? Bear me just a minute. We're going to shut off soon anyway. families. They're devising iniquity, they're devising sin. Okay, they're pushing out different legislations. So woe unto them, destruction unto them. Okay, woe unto them that devise iniquity, which is sin. They're the ones that are pushing out LGBT, same-sex marriage. Okay, abortion. All these philosophies, these different... They're easy to you know? So this gives us world destruction. Okay? Them that devise iniquity upon their beds. When the morning is like, they practice it. Okay, you're speaking about the elites. So they're practicing it. Why? Because what? Is it, it is in the power of their hands. So it's in their power to do this. Okay? It's in their power to push particular legislation, okay? When the morning is light, they practice it. So you practice something, you're rehearsing it. So Esau, what is he doing? He 
he's practicing what is wickedness. Okay. That's what he's doing. Okay. Because it is in the power of their hand. Okay. Almost like the hand of the beast, and this is a beast system. So Esau, this is what he's doing. Okay. This is what Esau's doing. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Why Job 9.24? Because the earth is going into the hand of the wicked. banking families do they take houses and they do it by violence okay houses that don't belong to them okay they do that through legislation well Esau what he passes that legislation because the bankers they control the legislations okay what's put out there okay and they take them by violence and houses and they take them away so they oppress a man his house and his heritage okay so this is what Esau is doing right now okay oppressing a man and his habit and his heritage a man's household okay you know but Esau is oppressing this world Okay. And a man's heritage. And that's why you've got what? Refugees fleeing to different lands because they're being oppressed. Okay. They're being subjugated. Alright. And war. These was what? Setting up mercenaries and there's a lot of war in these different lands. Why? Because Esau has set that up. Okay? He set that up. He's funding these different groups. The Boko Haram in Nigeria. Okay? The different armies. The MI6. Okay? what Yahushua is going to deliver his elect from what is evil wicked cesspool okay and his evil people okay okay bear me just a minute bear me just a minute let's start at Psalm 27 oh Lord Yahushua okay is my light this is a prayer but this is still done for edification. So Yahweh Shai, what is he supposed to be? A light? What's a light? A path? So Yahweh Shai is a path to the elect. A light to the elect. Okay. And my salvation. So salvation comes through who? Yahweh Shai. Not through the people of this world. Salvation comes through Yahweh Shai. Right? Whom I shall fear. So the men of the Lord, they're not supposed to fear this world. Okay? The men of the Lord are supposed to fear Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai controls men. Okay? The Lord is my strength, so our strength comes from what? The Heavenly Father. Not physical strength, the strength from on high. That's who our strength comes from. So who does your strength come from? Yourself. See, again, that's pride, you see? But that's all right, that's pride. You know? You know? Man. 
The Lord Jehovah is my strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? So we don't fear these demons out here. Okay? These these devils. Okay. The Lord is our strength. Okay? And if you if if he if he really was a man of any guts, he would have stood there and said something. He wouldn't have walked off like a bitch. Okay? Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, okay, came to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. So I've had many enemies. Many enemies, okay? And what they all my enemies they stumbled and they fell. Okay? They stumbled, they fell, they tripped, they buckled. So if you have a chance for you, who can be against you? Okay? That's the truth. Yahushua is for you. Nobody can be against you. Okay? And your own enemies, they will stumble, they trip, they fall. They'll be dismayed. Okay? And we're going to shut off soon. Bear me just a minute. And came to eat up my flesh and they stumbled. So they tried to devour me. I've had individuals in this truth that tried to devour me. And guess what? They stumbled, they fell, they tripped. Okay? Now a host should comp encamp against me. So a host means what? A host is an army. So you've got to have that mentality. Now what army compasses you, surrounds you. Okay? My heart should not fear. So that's the spirit we've got to have. You're still not going to fear. Your mind's not going to fear. Now an army compasses you. Though you're surrounded by a great army, a great multitude of unbelievers, your heart's not going to fail. Okay? Don't wash and rise up against me.